How's it going? My name is Carlton Dennis and I'm coming at you live from KDA headquarters here in the beautiful Orange County, California. And I'm here to talk to real estate investors or people who are already in real estate and I want to talk about the tax advantages for real estate investors. And I really want to highlight on three points I like to call DCC, depreciation, cost segregation, and corporations. The first one, depreciation, which we are all familiar with, is the life that you have on a piece of property. There's land value and there's property value. And if you own real estate, the property value is depreciable. And you receive that depreciation over the course of 27 and a half years if you're in residential property and 39 years if you're in commercial property. That's a beautiful thing because what that does is it drops the amount of taxable income that you're being taxed at. So just having that rental property, we're receiving a deduction on our Schedule E form every single year. Huge benefit to owning real estate. Which leads me into the next benefit, which is called cost segregation. So first one, depreciation. The next one, cost segregation. So if you go back to that first one where your life is 27 and a half years, that's quite a bit of time when you think about it. What cost segregation does is it allows us to come in and look at the amount of depreciation that you have in this property. We separate property value and land value because we know land value isn't depreciable and we accelerate the property value. So say you have a property value at a million dollars, you're receiving back $27,500 each year over the course of 27 and a half years. What a cost segregation study does is it allows you to accelerate that depreciation so you're not waiting that 27 and a half years to get that money that drops your taxable income down. All great things. That's called a cost segregation study. The last thing I want to talk about is corporations. We've all heard of corporations. We go to corporations every day. I go to McDonald's. You may go to In-N-Out. Those are corporations. Now, corporations, there's LLCs, C-Corps, and S-Corporations. Which one is the best for real estate investors? Well, if you're purchasing a piece of property, I would definitely recommend putting that piece of property inside of an LLC. Now we're separating the asset and giving yourself some asset protection. What that means is if something ever were to happen, you're not going to be liable for whatever happens associated with that rental property. Meaning that if there's ever an accident and you get sued, God forbid, they can only come after what's inside that LLC and not your personal property, your car, your phone, and your family. And that's super important. Also, when you establish yourself as an LLC, you're establishing yourself as a business. Meaning that you're getting business write-offs that you're not necessarily able to get when you're just operating as a Schedule C. So those are my three tips for real estate investors looking to get some tax advantages for owning their rental properties. I will be diving into all three of those topics in later segments, but if you liked what you hear today, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll be producing more videos like this one. Again, you can reach my office as well and schedule yourself a free consultation. Our number is 714-252-5822. Again, that's 714-252-5822. Thank you guys so much. Have a great one.